<laughs> hey guys, it's me and Glam <laughs> Foxy Lux. <laughs> okay, and the little pink princess dragon. I love pink and I love makeup and I love Okay, so, what are we talking about today? Let's see, this is July, so, June Boxy Lux. <laughs> yes, we are. We're going to review some of our products in that June Boxy Lux. What do you think, guys? All right. Um, so, Let's just get right into it. I only did like part of my makeup because I thought if I actually do this quickly enough, I might be able to, you know, put some on. Okay. PYT, which I believe stands for Pretty Young Thing. Blue Dryer, $85 this retails for. Comes in a cute little... I don't know, like a silk bag. I got the purple one. And it comes with two attachments. This is a, like a diffuser. Kind of makes the air spread out. And I think if you were doing like some real... <coughs> hair do work that might you know come in handier and this one just kind of like refines it I like to use this one because I have the long hair I like to use this one when I'm going in under it that way the the hot air doesn't blow my skin because I can kind of blow it away from the skin and right where I want it and then this one I kind of like to use on the top or when I'm using my hair brush through the wet hair, like there's the brush, and then I just put that up against the brush and pull it down. Um, I don't dry my hair like all the way dry, and I don't blow dry my hair every time I wash it. I did today, um, just because you know I wanted to do video, so I wanted it to dry quickly. <clears throat> I don't think it's good for your hair to like heat it up a lot or put a lot of chemicals on it so you know I just I don't do it real often um, plus it's summer here and once it gets to be about 10 11 o'clock in the morning and I my house is not air conditioning air, bleh, bleh, air conditioned you don't want to be putting any more heat on yourself than you already are so okay $85 would I pay $85 for this? Absolutely not. Okay, I already have this one. This is Jill Bier. You can see that on there. It might focus. It might not. It's hard to tell. Bier. Yeah, see the light on there? Um, thrift store one dollar it's used big deal i've had it for like oh gosh i've had it for like ever um i don't know at least five or six years <clears throat> it's got the hot setting and the lower setting you know it um works great is you know which one works better but yeah um they both pretty much work the same this one's cute and it's got the two attachments you know but $85, $1. Yeah. Um, I love it because it's new, it's cute, it's pretty, and, you know, it's, uh, came in my boxy charm, so what's not to love? <clears throat> you know, it's got some color to it, it's not just plain black, but as far as, like, does it work any better? I'm trying to put things down. No, it 
it really doesn't work any better. So <clears throat> $85, yeah, no way. Um, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't pay $25 for one because I already had one. But, you know, it's okay. All right. Uh, Trustique. Tre Trezique Mascara with Lash Cork Curler. I know I just put it in here. Okay, it's still wrapped up. Lash Curler is on the top there somewhere. Um, there's the Lash Curler. I have a lot of mascara. Um, the idea of having a Lash Curler with your mascara I think is really cute. Um, this brand does tend to like multitask even their their lip crayons have a balm or a uh, Something you know at the other end so it, it's innovative. It's cute whatever But it's not something that I personally need so this is going in my basket It'll either get sold or it won't end up in giveaway stuff and that was $25. Huh. Okay. This I'm in love with. The Tarte Pro Glow 3 Tarte Pro Glow 3 palette for $45. And yes, I would yeah, it, it's definitely worth $45. This is a great product. Um I was excited to get it. I've never used any of Tarte um, highlighters or blush or bronzers. So, you know, I was just really excited to get this. So, what the heck? Let's, but, you know, I've already done my mascara. So, um, bleh, bleh. My foundation and my uh, concealer, so let's go ahead and um, I think I'm going to use this. It's a little bit lighter. I'm not big on the blush, and I really prefer a kind of a, um, okay, what is this that is stuck to it? Um, like a peachy not not so pink of a blush but you know let's see I'm using my uh, blush brush my puffy blush brush from it cosmetics I'm old and my cheeks droop so I put mine on in kind of an upward motion I'm gonna kind of up the side of the nose here a little bit. Okay. That one's a little more subtle. The other one is okay. Yeah, now you can see it. Um, the other one's got a little more kick to it. Actually, almost a little too much kick for me. I might try. Um, I might try mixing them sometime. But, you know, it's it's good. Okay, so, where's my... There it is. Alright, and the highlighters. Where is my highlighter brush? There it is. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this highlighter. They probably have names. I just, you know, I'm blind so I can't see them. This just, like, it melts into your skin, and they blend together so nicely. Um, I mean, you know, I had the Ofra Rodeo Drive, but, you know, most of the money I actually spend on... makeup is uh eyeshadow i didn't do my brows oh well sorry guys my brows are whatever 
Um, so this is probably besides the O for highlighter, this is probably the best quality um using this brush and I'm gonna go with the side on the bronzer. Um yeah, this is probably like the best quality bronzer and highlighter and blush. I love this. This is great for doing this. Am I doing this right? You know, I don't know, but it works for me, so, oh well. Hmm, let me take that right under the lip. Okay, and, you know what, I didn't do my eyeliner either. Oh well, too late now. really really like this and thought i just put the plastic piece down oh yep i did i like to keep my plastic keeps my mirrors nice and it keeps my makeup nice so this was like the star thing for me i mean i like the hair dryer but this was this was the cute de gras in the box for me i really I like it more than I even had anticipated okay next uh, living good hair volume spray I sold that um, I just don't my hair is tied back 90% of the time so I don't need really yes it, it needs volume but I felt like I needed the money back out of that worse than I needed the actual product. I still have a dry shampoo that's been sitting on for a while. Okay, so I, I did sell that. Um, BoxyCharm Beauty's Facebook group. Buy and sell only BoxyCharm products. Read the rules. Check it out. It's, it's a really great... Um, you know they do a lot of they do a lot of stuff to you um it's it's run really well okay skin and company truffles therapy mist and setting spray i've been using this pretty regularly and since we just did you know the blush You know, I I see, um, I do watch a lot of other YouTube channels. Uh, yeah, it could, it could stand to have a better mister, and I may eventually put it in. I tried changing out the mister, but the one that I have doesn't fit on that bottle. So I may end up putting it in a different bottle. Um, but I like the smell of it. Um... It's almost kind of a spearmint. You know, other people were saying peppermint, but I think it's more like spearmint. Um, I think it works. It's not Urban Decay All Nighter, but it works well as a setting spray. Um, as a mist, it it is refreshing. The mint in it kind of perks up your skin, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm real happy with that product. Uh, Dr. Brandt Cleanser. Okay, I haven't even opened it. There we go. That's right side up. The Dr. Brandt products that I have tried are just not for me. I think that these are meant for um, people with either oily or combination skin. And I just opened my Glam Glow Cleanser, so... Um, this is going to go in my box of sale stuff also. Um, <clears throat> so that's what. Yeah, that's only 
that's only three things out of here that I felt like I couldn't use and the value is still, you know, all there. Um, what else? Dominique Gloss in Peach Tree and this is valued at $17. Um, not really a gloss girl, but somehow I am acquiring a lot of glosses. I've already used this. Ugh, smells absolutely wonderful. I was hoping it would be like peachy, but it's like cakey. Mm. I like the shade. I love the smell. Um, I'm sure it's worth $17. I'm not much into gloss. But I think that's pretty. So, um, you know, keeping this. I guess I'm just going to have to wear a lot of gloss this winter. I'm still working on my Hank and Henry gloss that I got a few months ago. And, you know, that's the thing with the, the lippies is that they last too long to get one in every single sub. You know, you, you end up with so many lippies that you're going to, you know, you're doomed to have to throw some away. Okay, um, the No Problem Primer Essence from Touch and Soul sells for $23. I normally sell these right away, but the reviews on this have been, this is supposed to be really good for dry skin, um, you know, any skin type, but it, like, people with dry skin are giving it great reviews too, so I'm not going to open it because I'm still working on some, but I am going to keep it. Okay, and last but not least is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Serum. Okay, I like a good serum. I like pharmacy. Um, I really didn't know how I was going to... I didn't know if I was going to be a fan of the, um, the whole honey. You know, honey is sticky and you know you know but um so what do we got here all right no wonder it's not working right um i'm still working on that glam glow serum let's do like so This will be the next one. You can see it there. Wah, there it is. It, you know, sinks right into the skin. Very absorbent. Doesn't really have any kind of a scent. I don't know, maybe a little bit of a honey scent, but not, it's more of a waft than an actual scent. Um, Definitely keeping this. I'm positive this, you know, will be a good product because so far everything pharmacy that I have tried has really liked my skin. This sells for $58. I find that, you know, $60 to $80 is kind of the range for <clears throat> um, a good serum. So $58 is, yeah, right in there. Um, mm, very nice. Okay, and I guess that's it. That's everything in there. So, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> like us. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. If you are, thank you so much. And we have some new subscribers. Welcome. I hope you enjoy, you know, and maybe share something, learn something, comment below. Let us know what's going on with you in your makeup world. And, you know, read everybody else's comments, too. Um, 
the let me see this will be Tuesday box charm is coming so my next video will be the July boxy charm opening and until the next time I hope you wake up dancing wake up dancing oh, oh, wake up dancing every single day bye bye